And Come Rebecca, on. in a word, what's your favourite film? One to look out for this year? Uh, well, I loved Whiplash and I loved Foxcatcher as well. So Whiplash, for instance, is going to come out in, a, in about a week and a half's time. It's one of those films which really gets your heart thumping. It gets you really excited. It's about a guy who goes to a, a conservatoire for music and wants to be the best drummer ever. Okay. And it's about obsession, excitement. It's also about, you know, unorthodox teaching. And it's really, really a thrilling ride. So many British uh, members going over to Hollywood to showcase an array of talents. We've won anyway, because it's great to show America what we can do. And if we have one of them win, then fantastic. But we didn't just have one of them win. We won in so many different categories with lots of different Brits pricking up awards. And I think it's really positive. I think that this is going to be Fifty Shades of Yay. I think whatever the critics say, this is already tipped to be the highest grossing film of the year. Fans of the books will be going in their droves to see whether or not Christian Grey lives up to expectations on the screen. It's going to be full of intrigue for anyone that just wants to see what a steamy book adaptation can look like, and I think it will do well. Clooney, though, paid tribute uh, to his new wife, Amal. Was about that. I'm sure she was She's very, very happy. reserved, though. But, <laughs> I mean, that, he was getting a Lifetime Achievement Award mm. there. We're not used to seeing him giving those public displays of affection, are yeah. we, really? I think it actually really hits him. Throughout the whole speech, he's very humble throughout it. And he's, you know, trying to pick out those light moments of joking with his colleagues just to maybe mm. save himself from, you know, cracking up a little bit and having a bit of a tear because it did look like he was on the verge of that. But it's lovely. You know, he is in the public eye all the time with his relationship with Amal. And I think it's a really nice sort of, you know, thing to give to her as well. Rebecca, thanks. So, you've got to share this space with other people. And some people have horrendous manners. Yeah, but there's not. What can you do about that, really? Ban popcorn. <laughs> Ban popcorn, maybe. <laughs> but then again, that's another revenue for the cinemas. They're not going to do that. I think there are far too many platforms out there for us to watch. You know, movies on. You've, like you said, you know, you've got viewing platforms like Netflix. Wait a few months, and maybe it will be on there. So why then pay such a high price to go to the cinema? Um, I, I think it's a really, really tough mm. call to what we can do. There is no block, black and white solution to this problem, but there is something. It's nice and refreshing that someone is from the studios is addressing that. Yeah. There is that. By film critic Rebecca Perfect. Yeah. So do, do you think that we're going to see a trend of this now where it becomes more and more British talent I being recognised? So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? We are yeah. churning out fantastic talent, not only in film, but television as well. We're being recognised for our strong roots in acting. Yeah. You know, someone like Eddie Red He's been doing it for years. He's been treading the boards. He's been on TV. He's been on film. He's not come out of nowhere. Yeah. And now he's up in the Oscar race as one of the front runners. Couldn't be better. Oh. Well, I'm joined now by film critic Rebecca Perfect. And uh, all the money seems to be on Eddie Redmayne, doesn't it, for best, uh, best Actor? Yeah, and it's great to see a fantastic array of British actors, you know, heading to Hollywood for the Oscars. I think Eddie Redmayne has done an incredible job um, in The Theory of Everything. He is almost transformed like a chameleon to become Stephen Hawking's in this film. Benedict Cumberbatch, again, a great performance, but if I was to pick two people that the race was against, it would actually be Michael Keaton and um, Eddie Redmayne for this. Um, it's an amazing performance from Michael Keaton as well. Rebecca, is there any point, of course, one for Stephen Hawking for The Theory of Everything, in watching the Oscars? Is this just now a sure thing that he's going to win that? Uh, I would love to say yes, but it's actually, for the Best Actor race, it's a two-horse race at the moment. It is between Eddie Redmayne, who we are all rooting for, but also Michael Keaton for Birdman, but two very different, but both brilliant performances. So, he did it. He really did, and I am so happy. It was an incredible performance. It's the right guy that got the award uh, last night. It was just amazing. And, you know, if he's like slightly inarticulate <laughs> in his speech, it's the biggest night of his life. So we'll forgive him for that. It was wonderful and humble and great to see. I'm very